Court, and I use these three words to tell you about Alpha I antitrypsin deficiency. It's not a zonal codominant condition that predisposes to both liver disease and emphysema. So you see three different ropes that are all very different length. And even though there are about 25 million Alpha I carriers in the U.S. and about 100,000 people in America that are affected by the condition, it typically goes undiagnosed. Or the time between initial symptoms and diagnosis is very long. That's because on average, patients report seeing three different physicians over a period of seven years before they get a correct Alpha I diagnosis. See, Alpha I symptoms are very similar. Well, they're very similar to many other chronic respiratory diseases. That's why it's typically misdiagnosed as emphysema, asthma, COPD, or chronic bronchitis. And left undiagnosed and untreated, Alpha I can result in serious, irreversible lung damage and in some cases even death. That's why the American Thoracic Society recommends testing for Alpha I all patients with COPD, irreversible asthma, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, bronchiectasis, and FEV1 of less than 70%. Remember, early diagnosis is important to empower patients, help them to make more healthy lifestyle decisions, and to obtain optimal treatment. Now, this has nothing to do with Alpha I, but I like it. I place the ends of the rope here in my pocket, and I can snap my fingers. And one end actually jumps through the rope to there, the other end over there, leaving the middle inside the pocket. Now, the best news, of course, is that Alpha I can be easily and simply diagnosed with just a simple and reimbursable serum Alpha I blood test by a blood draw or blood stick. That one simple Alpha I blood test can make a huge difference to the quality of life of some of your patients. Now, you might remember a moment ago when I had the two ends, and I placed the ends in my pocket, and then the end came popping out of there. You can't do that if you still have the ends in your pocket, because then you have a rope with three ends, and that bothers people. So I'll give the rope another shake. I'll get a fourth end. That's two ropes. We didn't start with two ropes and four ends. We started with six ends, and we started with three ropes. Three ropes, all the same. Ah, yes, but remember, appearances can be deceiving, can't they? That's why that simple blood test for Alpha I diagnosis can make all the difference for you and your patients.